everyone welcome back to my channel this is going to be my May favorites and so I don't have very many favorites for this month but I decided to film a favorites video anyway because I like to watch them they're fun to film and they're easy to edit so yeah so let's get started um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is a hair product actually I have two hair products so I'm just gonna do those ones first and get those ones out of the way. The first one I'm going to talk about is this um, liquid professional smoothing catalyst. Sounds super fancy. My mom had given this to me months and months and months ago and I didn't really use it or care to try. Just this month though, this last month I picked it up. So what I do is I just brush my hair out, spray it in while it's still wet right out of the shower and then blow dry it. So basically the back of it says, um, throw your flat iron away, get flat iron results without the intense heat and resulting damage. Liquid Professional Smoothing Catalyst uses tiny nano hydrospheres to form protective webbing around each hair resulting in smooth, shiny, frizz-less hair. Which I think is true. Um, it definitely makes my hair way more smooth when I use this. It does make it super straight. Like, I didn't flat iron. I flat ironed my bangs today, but I didn't flat iron the rest of my hair, and it's pretty straight. And I have, um, normally I have, like, wavy, naturally wavy hair, and if I just blow dry it without putting anything in it, maybe just, like, a protectant spray, um, it's way more poofy and not in a good way poofy and it's harder to manage like this is easier to like style when like I can just blow dry it curl it blow dry it put in a pony um, make some body uh, way easier to style when I use this stuff also it's just so smooth and it just feels so nice and less frizz I don't know if you guys can tell it just <clears throat> yeah making my hair days so much better. I've been loving this stuff. I just, I can't believe it took me this long to figure out how amazing this is. Okay, next thing is this hairspray that was recommended to me by my friend Shelby. Um, it's a Garnier uh, Fruity Style Volumizing Anti-Humidity Hairspray with Natural Bamboo Extract. Provides bounce back hold. Um, this says that it's an extra hold, extra strong hold. Um, the thing about this though is I feel it is a buildable hold, which is weird. Like I could spray a little bit in my hair, like I have some in my hair right now, like back here, and it's definitely, I could run my hands through my hair, it's not like crunchy or anything. Uh, my bangs though, they're a little more stiff <laughs> because I sprayed a little more in there. I was just like, Ksh. um, but uh it's buildable like you can have like a loose hold that is just really nice just kind of helps smooth your hair out um, and you can still get around your hands through it or you can just like put on some more like hairspray and it's a really good crazy hold like my bangs I like to spray these um, a lot because I don't want these babies going anywhere and uh, they last me all day another thing I like about this is the smell it smells so good. It just like, it's kind of, it's not too fruity or too fragrancy. It's just clean and just fresh and just smells delicious. Also, um, it's not that expensive. I know a lot of hairsprays out there are insanely expensive. I've used some insanely, like the Sebastian brand used to be my favorite. It's like $20 a bottle. I believe this is probably like half that for this and I like this just as much and it smells better so yeah check this out um, I think they have different kinds as well I just am digging this one it's a volumizing one so yeah I love it thanks Shelby for the recommendation the next thing I want to talk about is a makeup product and um, it's uh, this Smashbox photo finish foundation primer uh, I got this actually for my mom and because she has oily skin and I've been struggling with dry to combination skin for a while um, but ever since I've been using that CeraVe moisturizer that I mentioned in my last favorites um, my nose mostly has been getting a little oily throughout the day uh, when I go to work I'll I would go to the bathroom and I notice I'm like hey my nose looks 
extra shiny, which is, is fine. It just started looking a little more oily. So I was thinking maybe I should switch up my primers because I would use super hydrating primer, super hydrating moisturizer, and my once my skin started becoming more moist, um, it just would produce more oil and look a little shiny throughout the day. So I decided to borrow this from my mom when she told me I could have it. So I was like, yay. Uh, I put this just pretty much in my T-zone, just where I get a little oily, mostly in my nose, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead, mostly in my nose area just around here. And it works great. It does take care of that little bit of oiliness that was a little bit annoying. So yeah, I've been really liking this this last month. Um, and that's all I really have to say about it. Next thing I've been using this month, this is not a new product to me, I've had this for probably over a year. It's the um, Mineralized Skin Finish uh, from MAC in Soft and Gentle. It's just their like, highlighter. And um, what I've been doing with it is pretty much packing it on like a big fluffy brush and just like kind of sweeping it on top of my cheeks, kind of like in with my um, blush, just to give my whole cheek and my whole blush a nice glow. Um, I've been really liking that. It kind of gives me looking like a healthier, glowy skin. I kind of do put some on my um, temples a little bit, like my, well, just above my eyebrows, like in this area. Um, a little bit on my nose, just to give me some sort of dewiness. So yeah, I've just been using this this month, really enjoying it, really digging it. Um, re refinding it because I hadn't used it in such a long time and since it's so subtle it is like nice to put on everywhere just everywhere next favorite is this wet and wild palette eyeshadow palette in um, California roll I got this uh, for my um, Iron Man inspired makeup look because of the red. That's the only reason I bought it was for this red color. And um, when I used it, I was pleasantly surprised at how easy it would um, blend out. It has two matte shades, which are this red and this orange shade. And I love these shades. Like, honestly, I will go in with the, the first with this orange shade with a fluffy brush all over the crease, and then I'll go in with a, a more stiff brush um, with this red shade on top of the orange just uh, to define it a little bit more and I, I'll go out like that. That's the only shadows I use in my crease and I love it. It's just amazing. These two bottom shades or top shades depending on how you hold it. These two light shades though um, are amazing. Amazing. Like this shade is just a really beautiful, um, here let me see, like a uh, champagne -y shade. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. I think the flash or the light is interfering with it. But it's just so pretty all over the lid. Um, that's what I usually put on the lid when I use the, the red and the uh, orange shade. And it's just uh, so shimmery, so pretty. I, it's so cr like creamy. So easy to blend. It's just great. This shade also, I only just recently picked up this. It's a more peachy shade. It has a little more glitter in it. Um, just recently picked up that shade. I don't know if you can see. It's a, that one on top. Uh, I, I love it as well. I didn't think I was going to like it and I wore this all over the lid and it made a really nice sparkle in the, and it was just fun. It's just a fun color. I haven't really experimented much with the greens, which is weird because green is my favorite color. But I haven't experimented much, much with those. I have an idea of a green eyeshadow look that I want to do. I know I already did a green eyeshadow look, but I want to do another one. So, and I think I might uh, pop into this palette to use these because I really like the formulation of these shadows. And for the price, it's great. Love it. Recommend them. Okay, so the last couple things I'm talking about, um, I picked up from Ulta this month. And... I really, really, really have been enjoying these. Um, I got two <laughs> NYX glosses. These are the Mega Shine Lip Glosses. And um, I actually borrowed this color from my friend, uh, Ali, um, a few months ago. And I actually took a picture of it with my phone so I would remember that I wanted it. <laughs> and this is in the color Sugar Pie. It's just a very beautiful, like, um, I think it's like a peachy champagne uh, 
it has a little bit of like sparkle flex in it, which I usually don't like, but um, I really, really do like it. Also, they smell like, what does that smell? Like cherry, like fruit roll up or something. Like a cherry fruit roll up. I don't know, but it smells really good. Allie was with me when I went to Ulta, and uh, this was her recommendation, and I honestly would not have gravitated to this color. I don't know, I just like nude and pink colors, which is weird because I'm wearing like a purple lip today, but I want to be crazy. But uh, this was a little too like pinky for me usually. I'd be like, meh, I don't want to. But um, she's like, get this one, it's awesome. So I listened to her and I did. This is in the color beige, which is weird because it's not beige at all, but whatever. Uh, so I put it on and I was like, oh my gosh, I like like this color almost more than I like this color, or, or more than I like this color. And uh, you know, I th you know what I like about these? They're just, they're not too thick. Let's see, I mean, they have color payoff, but they're not like crazy color, which actually I kind of like when you want more of like a subtle look, or like when you're going out with your friends and you don't want to reapply lipstick all the time and you just like quickly just throw on some gloss you don't even need a mirror it's just it's easy and fun and it makes your lips look really really nice so here are the colors see this one's definitely more of a nudie color and it, this would look really good with any nude over any nude it would give it a little bit of a peachy like sheen to it it would be beautiful over any nude this color would be beautiful over a lot of pinks probably and uh, Honestly, I like to wear them by themselves. So, uh, they're very, um, like I said, they're not sticky, they're not thick, uh, they're just, they're comfortable, they're moisturizing, they're shiny, like super shiny. Sometimes lip glosses just, they don't have the shine, and that's what a lip gloss to me is. Lip gloss to me is something that will shine your lips up just crazy, and these definitely do and they're great and I love them and they're not that expensive and they smell good and <laughs> yeah <laughs> so okay so that was it that was all my favorites for this month um I didn't really go shopping trying to save a little bit of money but I still got a couple of products because I can't help myself <laughs> Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this May Favorites video. Um, hopefully I'll be back for June Favorites. Maybe I'll have more products. Maybe I'll have less products. I don't know. Let me know some of your favorites. If you guys want to talk or comment in the down bar, just let me know. Um, I'd like to know about awesome products that you guys like. Maybe I can check out myself. I hope you guys have a great month of June. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites. I almost said tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I almost said tutorial again! <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know. Is this smash uh, Garnier? Oh my god. I think I've said enough. I just don't know.